today I'm going to show you step by step how to create a high quality, expensive looking course in Kajabi for free. Let's waste no time and dive right in. P.S. If you want to follow along with this step by step tutorial and you haven't signed up for Kajabi yet, instead of using their 14 day trial, I have an exclusive 30 day trial you can use. And when you sign up with that link, I also send you immediate access to my zero to 10K course roadmap. That's going to teach you how to make your first 10K in course sales. Super helpful. So make sure you grab that link. All right, let's get to the tutorial. I'm going to step by step create a course from scared to prepared a roadmap to confident public speaking. This is an example course that I made and you can see here it looks very beautiful. So I'll show you how to do all of these things and some of the secret things that you maybe don't know that you could even do in Kajabi. So let's start first by you will need to log into your Kajabi account. You can go to your products and you're going to hit add new course under the courses section. Now in course details, you first need to add a course title. This is so important. Your course title needs to be something very strong. So instead of something like public speaking 101, your title should convey some sort of a transformation that your audience is going to go through. So notice my zero to 10K course roadmap. This is actually something we talk about within that course, so make sure you use that link. But think about that course title in itself zero to 10K, it shows the transformation that the course is going to give. So how could we do this for public speaking 101? Well, I think of the before and after. Before taking the course, maybe public speaking really scares me, but after I feel confident and I feel prepared. And so that is how I thought of scared to prepared, a guide to confident public speaking, because you have that transformation, it's very clear on what people are going to get by the end. So think of how you can do that for your own course. So I will go in and add in my title and then we need to add in a brief description that you can see right here. Now, if you're going to use Kajabi's AI tool, AIMA, or Ask Me Anything, to build out your course, which I highly recommend, then you wanna make sure you take a bit of time in writing out this brief description. And I recommend that there are three things that you include in it. Number one, who the course is specifically for. Number two, what is a transformation or the outcome people can expect from taking the course. And then three, how many modules are in the course and even what are the titles of those modules. So here's an example I wrote out for my fake course. This course is for business professionals who are looking to enhance your public speaking skills, go from feeling overwhelmed and insecure, calm, cool, collected, and confident as a public speaker. This three module course takes you through learning the art of preparation and organization, speaking skills 101, and the art of confidence. By the end, you'll be wowing your coworkers, friends, and family anytime you're asked to give a speech. So write out a quick course description and add that in there, okay? Once you do that, you're going to have this toggled on. Use this info to generate content and additional resources. I will hit then next and Kajabi then will take this information and it will build out your course outline for you. This is something you maybe already have, but it can be helpful to use this as the bones of your course. So I recommend it and then you can switch out anything later on. So next you're going to then customize your course appearance. So you can pick a primary color, accent color, and add a thumbnail image. So let's do all that right now. I'm going to pick a primary color. Now, how did I get these colors that show up here instead of just going through this very difficult to navigate color wheel? Well, what you can do is within your Kajabi, you are going to go to settings, and then you're going to scroll down site details. And then from here, you can scroll down and you can add in colors. So I could click here and then I could add in the specific hex code of a color that I wanted to use. And if you have no clue on brand colors, I recommend you use something called coolors.com and I can show it to you here. I can hit start generator. And this is so helpful if you're not very good at branding, you can just hit your space bar and it will give you different brand color options that you're wanting. So let's say I really like this green, I could lock it and then keep hitting the space bar until I find a color palette that I think works really well and looks nice. Maybe I like this blue and then I'll keep going and say, okay, I think that this color palette is perfect. And I go with these three colors and maybe even these five colors. Cool. And then I can take those hex codes and I can add them then into Kajabi here. And that way, when I go back to my colors, I can refresh the page and add them in. All right, but now I have my beautiful looking course customization and then I'm gonna add a thumbnail. And I recommend that you just 
set this up now too as well. And I did this in Canva. So you want the dimensions to be presentation size, which is 1280 by 720. And so I just went in to Canva and I created a 1280 by 720 image for my course. And usually I recommend just making the thumbnail, the title of your course. So if I go to home, what you could do is you could create a design, custom size, and we'll do 1280 by 720. And then I will hit create a new design and boom, those are the right dimensions that we need. But because I already did this, I'm just gonna go and click back into the document that I already made. And then I will save that and I can upload it here. So I can go into my Kajabi, choose thumbnail and upload the thumbnail. It looks great, it's a perfect size, I don't have to crop anything, and I can hit upload one file. Now the next thing you need to do is figure out the price of your course. And if you don't have this figured out already, I recommend to do a bit of competitor research, see what the prices are already out in your niche. But pro tip, do not undersell yourself, right? If it feels a little uncomfortable what you're charging, you go my friend. When I first started, I remember charging $100 for my offers felt so crazy. I couldn't believe people were paying me money. And now my prices have 10 times that and I feel really comfortable in doing it. So we gotta start somewhere and know that you'll scale from wherever you are. But don't undersell yourself. Just a pro tip for you, people love when pricing ends in sevens and nines. So like instead of $100, maybe charge 97 or instead of 1,000, 997. So let's say that the price of this course is gonna be $997, and I can set up if I want it to be a payment plan or one-time payment, but just know you can set up a payment plan later and have multiple options, but we'll just do the one-time payment for now and hit next. From there, after I fill that in, their Kajabi's AI tool is going to create a course outline, it's gonna create sales page, it's gonna create your first email, really awesome. Again, I recommend having that toggle on that first page that we were on. So cool is it is now built out the bones of this course for me. We are in the course outline currently. You can see here you have outline, customize, offers. This is the offer of the course. Your customers you'll be able to see here. Certificates if you offer those for your clients. And then we have settings. Now within this settings section, you can see you could make changes to the title, to the description, add a different product thumbnail. You can also check if you want live rooms for your course, or if you want to link a community to your course as well, you can do that here. Now, generally the first thing that you're going to do in building out a course is you're going to add modules and lessons, video lessons, audio lessons. So what you'll see is each of these big folders is a main module. And usually I find courses have anywhere from three modules, five modules, and then you have the lessons underneath them. And so the first part of my course is the art of preparation and organization. So within that, then I can add content. I could add a submodel lesson or quiz, and usually you're gonna be adding a lesson. A submodel is like if you want another folder within that that hosts a bunch more lessons. So usually I just have modules and lessons. For example, I can show you what that looks like in one of my courses, the Magnetic Creator Academy. I have a training by one of my clients for one of my bonuses where she teaches you how to outsource your editing. And you can see here, because she has so many different lessons within the bonus, I made hers its own sub lesson. So you can see here, these are all the other trainings, but then hers is editing outsourcing by Katie Geddes and you can see the lessons here. So that's kind of what a sub module will look like. So let's go into understanding the importance of preparation and you'll see Kajabi's already added in a bunch of text for us. So you could add in text about this specific course lesson and then you can add in a video or audio or an assessment. So let's say you wanna add in a video lesson here. Huge pro tip for adding video lessons to a course. I highly recommend using something like Screencastify or Loom to film your lessons. So I will usually have Canva slides or I'll just use a Google Doc that I go through with Screencastify. I will record it and edit within Screencastify. Their service comes with editing software. And then when I'm finished, it saves directly to my Google Drive and I can just upload it straight to Kajabi from my Google Drive. So you see here, I can click video, select a file, upload a new file, Google Drive, Screencastify, and then I can go and find the training that I just did. 
So let's say this Canva tutorial and I can select and import it. Okay, so we can see here now my video is uploading. Now something really neat that you can do is if you want to have thumbnails for each of your lessons, you could use a current frame of the video, pick the frame that you want and use it as the thumbnail for this module. But I think it can sometimes look nice too if you wanted to just make custom thumbnails that are branded for each of your lessons, which is what I did here. So you can see it makes it just look really nice if you want to have these branded and just with text. And you can do that the same way we created the other thumbnail in Canva where it's the same exact sizing and you can put the names of all of your different modules and have those be the thumbnails. But like for my other course, Magnetic Creator Academy, I actually think it looks kind of fun to have a preview of what that lesson's gonna actually look like. And so you'll see here, the only thumbnail that I have branded for each of my modules is the first one where I have a worksheet for people and an overview. And then all the other ones, I just take a screen grab of what the lesson actually looks like from the video. Now I can save that. And let's say you wanted to do an audio recording for your next lesson. I could hit on organizing your speech. And then this is where I could add an audio file for the lesson. And if you're wanting to do this, I'd recommend to either film it on your phone. You could film it on QuickTime on your computer, edit it however you wanted, maybe even in GarageBand, and then you could upload it to your course here. Now the next thing you can also do is you can add downloadable files for your clients here, but I honestly find that having a lot of downloads in your course is really overwhelming. So unless it's something that's just like an easy cheat sheet, I would recommend to make Google Docs that are copyable, that can serve as worksheets through your course. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, in MCA, what I like to do is I will create these worksheets that people can fill out as they go through a whole module. Sometimes I'll even just screen record these with Screencastify, like I was saying. I'll go into Screencastify and I will turn on my webcam and I will just even record myself going through this module like this. But if I want people to be able to type in this, I need a master copy. So what you'll do is you just hit share and then you will hit general access. You wanna change it to anyone with the link can view and then you'll copy the link. And then what you can do is you'll go in and you can add to your text, you know, download the work book here and then you'll add the link that you have and then where it says slash edit you're going to delete and put copy and that then is going to create a copyable link so when people click on it if I hit save and I preview what this looks like you can see if I click on it oh we have to change that text color so it's not white then people can make a copy of this document that's their own and save to their own Google Drive so cool, right? Now the next thing you can do in creating your course is you can add an assessment. So you can click here and you can click assessment. So I'll click create an assessment and I could put public speaking quiz one and then test your knowledge of session one. And then from there, you can add in different questions. I can go to edit questions. And then on this left-hand side, I can click add questions. So I could do a multiple choice and I could say, is the best way to prepare for a speech? And then I could say, do nothing. And then I'd add another answer, panic. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Okay, now you can see, you can add in the different <laughs> answers. And if you want, you can go back and you can have it automatically grade the assessment. And we can then go back to edit the questions. And then you can choose if it's correct or not. So let's say take a deep breath is correct. We could click on it and that would be the correct one. And that way that Kajabi can automatically grade the assessment that you have. So you could go and add a bunch of questions and then hit save. And then you could even send a completion email with a link to the results for your students when they are finished. So really cool. Once you finish that, you can go back into your course and then you can add in that assessment and select the assessment and it's public speaking quiz one, perfect. And then I can hit save and that's how you add an assessment to your course. And you could add those in at the end of each module if you wanted. Personally for me, I don't have any assessments that would do with curriculum in my course, but I do have assessments where students are able to give feedback of things that they feel like are working well for them in the course and changes that they'd like to be made to improve the curriculum. Now, if you ever want a student view of what your course is gonna be looking like, all you have to do is just hit this preview button to see what it looks like, and then you can come back and make edits to it.
Now, something that you'll notice within the course that we're creating is if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see students are able to make comments and you can determine whether or not they're able to or not. So you can go down below, you have to go into each individual lesson and you will be able to see comments right here on this right hand side. And you can either have them be visible, hidden or locked. Hidden means nobody can comment at all. Locked means that whatever comments are currently there are locked in place, but nobody can add any more. So usually I like to keep mine visible, but it's totally up to you. Now, once you have built out all of your modules of your course, you can see here, you can then change them from draft to publish. So your students will be able to see the work once they pay for the course, or you can also drip the content. And if I were to click drip, you can see, you can set the number of days where after someone signs up, they're able to then view that content. So I could say, I want people to be able to get this seven days after their enrollment. But let's say you're like, okay, well, I want people to be able to buy the course, but then I don't want them to be able to start it, all, any of it right away or get access to it. You could also go to your offer details. And when somebody buys the course, if I click here, you can see you can have a product begin access at a specific date. So I can begin the access date at, let's say maybe April 10th. And then on April 10th, even if people purchased it a week before, they wouldn't actually get access to all the curriculum until the 10th. And then on the 10th, you could then say, okay, seven days into the course, they get dripped this content. And then 14 days, they get dripped this content. So you could do both, or you could just give people access to everything right away. Now to make your course that much more eye catching for your clients, we're going to want to make sure we go in and customize it even more. So you're going to come to the top of your course and hit customize, and then you're going to click customize. From here, you can see that this isn't looking quite right. I need to change the coloring of things. And so what you'll be able to see is I can actually go in and I can change each section. So let's say the header, I want to change the text color here to black. And then if I go here, I can click on all of these things. I could change the button color. I could change the text of the button to black as well to just make it a little bit more easy to read. And that's looking a lot more nice. I can then also go to settings and I can change the typography here. So if I wanted the light font color, maybe that's a little bit too light. I can make it maybe like a gray instead. And then I can change the font to something that looks a little bit more bougie, like Playfair display, I always think looks good or Libra Baskerville. I don't know, is that how you say it? I don't know, but I could change the font. I could hit save and then I could preview these changes and gosh, even just making those simple changes, look how much more elevated the course looks. So you can go change the typography. You can change the color scheme if you want. You can change the message colors to fit your branding better. You can change the general appearance of things. And then you can change the individual sections as well, like the header here. If you don't want people to be able to see your library, you can change all of these things. For example, I could not even show the header. I could take that away. And then I could also go back and I could change this hero section. I could add an image there. So it's very customizable to however you want it to look. So you can see here for my MCA course, I have my banner and then I have the setup to look like this and I've customized it. I have information about me on the side. So all of this, you can really make your own to make your course stand out. Once I am happy with that, then I can hit preview and I can look and see the course that I have made. I could hit start course. And because let's go and pretend that I've made everything in my course live, I can't see it right now. So I'd have to go back and I need to go to my outline and make all of these modules live so I can see them. I'll publish them all, publish, and then I have to go in and publish everything. So let's fast forward and say I do that. Once I've done all of that and I can add in the custom thumbnails, you'll see this is what the course looks like. And then I could click into each individual module and I have my video training to start. I can hit play and then my audience can start learning from me and it's looking so good. Now you may be saying, Danny, I have this beautiful course. Now, how do I set up a beautiful sales page and offer to drive this home and make sales? So if you want to know how I created my sales page, then be sure to subscribe because that video is coming out soon. Let me know what questions you have of building out your course in Kajabi, and don't forget to sign up using that 30 day trial so you can also get immediate access to my zero to 10K course roadmap. 
If this video is helpful for you, it's so helpful for me. If you give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next video. Bye.